Hi there guys, so in this video we will be set up in our um, WireGuard server in AWS. I actually recorded one video more before about uh, uh, again and WireGuard server installation in AWS, the Amazon Web Services. But in this video we will be looking at the easiest and the best way to install it. Um, this is the VGEZ script that I found on GitHub and it actually has a automatic installation and the management of the users in a web UI instead of just going down the scripts. So this is the best way to install it. So in here the avc.amazon.com and the console you could sign in over here and create an account or sign in. And after that uh, this is the main page of it. So in here there's a region, region section over here um, you could choose your uh, the best region that fits to you, the closest one. I'm choosing the Frankfurt because this is the closest closest one to me. So, um, in here we could type AC2 for creating our virtual machine. So in here, we are going to instances. Um, I have a lot of instances that I had from the test video. So we are launching an instance from the launch instance button. And I'm just saying to video two, I hope I'm not gonna record it once more. Uh, is this recording? Of course, right. So an OS image selection section, um, we could choose the Debian um, because it's just easiest way to install the Docker. You could also choose Ubuntu, but I suggest you to use just Debian. In architecture section, you could choose x86, but you could also choose the ARM and the ARM actually has the less price for your um, free free tier so I guess we can choose oh alright so in instance type we could choose the TG micro this is the um, this is a smaller one but as I said this is enough for a VPN server and since we are using the free tier this is gonna be a longer time um, since your credit is gonna run out and by time. So in keep here section we are creating a new keep here. Um, we are gonna we are gonna use this for um, connecting to our server. I'm just gonna say video 2 and creating a keep here and I'm downloading into my download section. In network settings we are saying create a security group and I guess that's it. We could launch instance so there is two settings that we are going to do um so i'm going back to ec2 and going this under the network and security tab we are clicking the elastic ip button so what it does is that um when you reboot or restart or just stop your instance the public ip address is going to be drop and a new ip address is going to be um, associated with it and when it does it says we have to reconfigure our WireGuard server and we don't want it. For doing that, we are allocating our own public IP address for that. So I'm, I'm clicking the allocate elastic IP address button over here. And we are just going to allocate it. And this is our IP address. So I'm clicking it back again and associate elastic IP address. So we are going to choose our video 2 instance and associate it. After that, we are going back again to our instance. Which one is ours? Ah, there you go. Um, clicking the security tab over here. And after that, we have a security group. I'm clicking that one. Inside here, we have to set some ports into the public. Um, by default, Amazon Linux doesn't let you to connect the other networks from into your network for security reasons. Uh, since we are going to use our VPN server from outside, we have to open it. In WireGuard server, um, we have to set our port here, the UDP um, 51820. This is going to be our port for WireGuard by default. So I'm going back and edit inbound rules, adding a rule in custom UDP, and set an R port over here and a public access I also uh, gonna add one rule this is gonna be a TCP um, 
the last one but the one in uh, one at the end this is gonna be our um, VG easy panel from internet I'm also opening for everybody um, there's some security reasons over there but they will get into that so I'm clicking the save the rules and that's it so now we could connect to our instance inside here we have the connect button and in here we have a code for example we could use that for doing that we are going to our download section this is our PAM um, so we are gonna use it you could just open the CMD by clicking here and type CMD and paste it and typing yes and as you might see you locked in but I'm just gonna use in the new Windows terminal for a better view to you see it I'm going to for CD downloads in the downloads directory and type in it or command back again so as you might see we are in our server so what we are gonna do now is install the docker um, and here we actually have the command for that um, get the docker so we are just typing it and it will automatically install the docker by itself this is gonna be take some time Is it recording? Yeah. Alright, so it is installed. For checking that, you could type sudo docker version and it installed. So, um, what we are gonna do next is clicking that, just follow these steps. And we are just gonna copy that. This is actually so simple. We are just copying and pasting that commands. And we are inside of VGEC. But before running our Docker Compose, we need to look at something that called reverse proxy. So for normally, um, for entering into the VGEC panel, and this panel, yeah, this UI, you have to set up a domain and SSL. But uh, this is going to be a short video, and we are not going to do that. So instead of that, we are just gonna uh, type the insecure into true. For doing that, we are typing sudo nano um, docker. You could uh, just type tap for auto completing it, and we are answering. So what we are gonna do now, we are deleting that hashtag, and then we are also deleting that and add adding a space. No, not this one. Sorry. Not the port, but the insecure. So this probably should be work. And we are setting the insecure false into true. So if we're exiting, control X and press Y and press enter again. And that's it. So this probably should be work unless we have a syntax error. So we are copying that command. So the docker compose up D and it works. So it takes some time to download and run it. Right, now it says it started. For checking our logs, we could type sudo docker ps. And this is our container ID, we are copying it by a double click and right click. So for doing, uh, for seeing the docs, we could just say sudo docker logs and pasting our container ID. And as you might see, it actually listens in this address. So let's go to there. For doing that, we are going back to our instance. There is the public IP address. We are copying it and we are copying this port and setting it. And as you might see, we are inside of our um, VGEZ uh, admin panel. I'm clicking the continue button. I'm just username uh, admin 12212212212212212213 and create an account. It says, do you have an existence setup? We don't have, no. And 
we gotta set up our host. Since we don't have any domain, we are just gonna um, paste our public IP address, and the port is gonna be this, the default one. Um, that's it. Now we can log in to our server, and that's it. Now we are inside, we are gonna create a new client for our WireGuard client. Um, setting just me and setting an expire date, I'm just gonna say a random one and eternity and create a client. Now we created our client. Um, we could download this configuration, just keep it. All right, so you have to download the WireGuard first. So you could just type WireGuard and go to the installation section. Yeah, you could install into your, uh, it's actually kind of simple from Mac OS, Ubuntu, or just Windows. I, I already installed the Windows one. So, uh, when you open the WireGuard, it's going to be something like this. We are clicking the Add Tunnel button, and we are just selecting our configuration. And the tunnel name is unveiled because it's actually, um, we are just going to rename it. Just me too, probably. Um, and that's it, we added it. So we could activate it. And as you might see, it's working right now. But we could also check our IP address. And as you might see, this is our public IP address that we allocated. It is in the data center of the Amazon. And that's it. This is a short video and this is the easiest way. When you want to use your um, AWS WireGuard server in another way, um, you could always create a new one. Um, where is our... Yeah, you could just create a new client or you could delete it or edit it. This is going to be something like this, but you probably don't going to do that. So that's it. Thank you for watching that video and I'll see you in the next one.